earnings season is underway and this week we have a couple big stocks reporting earnings starting with Netflix. So I want to take a look at the chart here with you. This is a very timely update, not only because earnings are being released, but also because I just spent this past weekend, October 15th and 16th, working on my quarterly outlook reports that cover 20 of the top hottest markets and Netflix is in there. So for the first time ever, I'm not only going to walk through some key elements of the Netflix chart right now in the portal, in the tribe portal for my members and the tribe is a free portal. I actually have highlights of the latest Netflix full report. So before we look at the charts, important reminder that trading and investing can be extremely risky business. Therefore, it's your responsibility to evaluate any information, opinion, advice, or other content contained in this video. All right, so here I have brought us down to a daily chart of Netflix. And when you take a look, if you haven't been paying attention to Netflix, it looks like, all right, you know, nothing too exciting here. We've got a sideways range. Here's some boundaries. But when you look at the history of this stock and what's unfolded over the past bit, you know, this is in a blank space because of a data gap, all right? This was a gap down. And so if you are trading Netflix and if you are trading around earnings time, one homework exercise for you is to go back and look at the dates of these gaps. Many times they coincide with earnings reports because that's where a lot of investor activity starts to uh, pick up or slow down. Now, if we focus in on the actual current price action, time and momentum, because if you're new here, I'm Hema Reddy and price time momentum, that's what I analyze to help my trading and those of my traders. We're going to walk through each of those and have a quick snapshot of what's going on. All right. So right now, Netflix is scheduled to release earnings the afternoon of Tuesday, October 18th. And so here we are and we have the market close of Monday, October 17th. You can see that we've been in a sideways range now since July 26th. The lower border is 21164. And the upper border is here at 251.99. So that's the August 15th high. Okay, we're just meandering between those levels. Now, that's what price is doing, going sideways. And this is what's called a time correction, meaning it's not doing a lot in terms of price, the vertical axis here. It's just eating up time on the chart. But notice what's happening. As the price action is eating up time sideways, okay, the RSI power zones, that's my favorite momentum indicator, they have been working off recent overbought conditions and continually just bouncing between the bear resistance power zone and the bull support power zone. So it's kind of like going nowhere fast. If you look back on over time, again, another little homework. So again, for those of you who are into your RSI power zones education, whether you're just starting off with the winning RSI playbook, bull bear ebook, or you've gone deeper with the four zones RSI coverage system, or even the advanced RSI power zone system. Okay. A little bit of homework for you here. And this is, you know, honor code homework. All right. I'm not going to check, but it's for your benefit. I recommend that you go back on the daily chart of Netflix to the peak we had here in the fall, winter, 2021. Okay. And look at the momentum patterns versus the price action and look at the movement of momentum versus price and see what clues you're getting as to where this might break. Okay. Now the last bit here is market timing. So the market timing that's coming into play, I have a forecast and that forecast, that actual date and the direction that I think the market might trade into, into that date, that's all in the full outlook report for my outlook annual members. What I will share with all of you here is my past forecasts. So every one of these orange vertical lines represents a past forecast I made. Now, the beauty of the style of forecasting I teach, which is details in the loss forecasting system, is that you can win on the trade even if the forecast is wrong. And you can see that here because if you bring your attention to a certain date that a forecast includes, right? A forecast is time and price. It's a X marks the spot on your chart. Notice how the last forecast into July 12th, we formed a very important low right after. Notice prior to that, the forecast here, May 12th, we hit on the nose and formed a low. So when you are monitoring forecasts, they can give you insight, not only to exact pinpointed highs and lows, but even getting very close such that you can set up trades. I mean, look back here. Okay. This December 10th, we formed a high just two days before on December 8th. And you might look and say, well, what about February 20th? Yeah, that one got caught up in consolidation. So that's a good reminder to you that not every single forecast is going to pinpoint some like amazing, fantabulous move, but a lot of them do. And if you know how to calculate them, you can be ready for those. 
So again, I have a forecast out here on Netflix. It's out in November, I'll give you that clue. And the full details are in my Skinny Market Outlooks Q4 edition. So there's 20 markets covered, you can see some of them down here, and that's for my Outlook Annual members. So I would be monitoring this range very closely heading into earnings. Whether we are going to break up or down, these levels will continue to be important. Now there are other support and resistance levels that I'm monitoring. And those, again, I've shared for the first time ever, I've shared highlights of the Netflix report in the Tri Portal. So you will be able to log in there and see three additional resistance levels, so, so blue horizontal lines, and three additional support levels, pink horizontal lines. All right, guys, I've given you everything you need to be ready for Netflix tomorrow, whether you stick here with this video and you don't explore further, or you want to go a level deeper and check out in my Tribe portal the highlights of the Netflix report I just published, or if you want the full enchilada, the full report, that's in my Outlook annual, and you can just reach out to my team if you are interested in that. All right, it's gonna be an interesting season of earnings, and I'm gonna be here with you. So if there's any other markets you'd like to see covered in these reports, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know any takeaways, golden nuggets you got from the video as well, and I'll catch you on the inside. You can sign up the link to join my tribe and get my hot, timely, actionable updates as soon as I publish right to your inbox.